Hello everyone, this is fine from Tech Gaming Villa. I hope you all are well today. I'm going to talk about the two TV, the Samsung Q70C and the Samsung Q80C. The left side is Samsung Q70C and the right side is Samsung Q80C. If you are new in my channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications and upcoming videos. I have another channel named Awesome Tech Gaming Pro, where I upload similar kind of tech videos like TV comparison, sound system, home theater, graphics card. You can check and subscribe. The Samsung Q70C actually a HDD panel TV and Samsung Q80C is a full array local dimming TV. The Samsung Q80C is very good for the force. It has an impressive HDR peak brightness and decent reflection handling so sports are clear and vivid even when watched in a bright room. Plus the TV has a very good viewing angle so hockey nights with the guns are great as they can all sit around the TV while still enjoying a consistent image. The TV is very good response time, means that fast moving objects like uh, park in hockey are crisp and blur free. The TV has satisfactory gray uniformity, but the big netting in the corners is appreciably a large area of bright color like a hockey ring. On the other side, the Samsung Q7C is decent for watching the sports, but not with your friends in a wide sitting area as it has a subpar beam angle. It has a very good brightness in HDR and decent reflection handling so that if we can easily handle a few lights or some glare. It also has a good response time with most content. So there's a bit of blur behind fast moving objects like a ball or puck zipping around the scene. But it's not annoying. Finally, the TV has decent gray uniformity. However, sports with uniform areas of bright color like hockey have noticeable uniformity issues with regions of the image being visible darker than others. This Q70C has decent low resolution upscaling. The Samsung Q80C is a very good TV to play video games on. Its contrast is disappointing, so it's not the best TV to game on in a dark room. But that's okay as the TV does have impressive HDR brightness and decent reflection handling, meaning you can play with the lights on. The TV has extremely low input lag and a very good response time so inputs are super responsive and there's minimal blurring behind fast moving objects. It also supports 4K 120 hours so games are crisp and fast and VRR for a near tier free gaming experience. On the other hand the Samsung Q70C is good for gaming. The TV has many gaming oriented features like 4 HDMI 2.1 bandwidth ports all supporting up to 4K 120 hours gaming and support for every VRR technology for nearly tier free gaming from any VRR enabled source. Its input lag is fantastic, so inputs are fast and responsive. It also has a good response time with most content, with a little blur behind fast moving objects, but nothing too annoying. This isn't a good TV for fans of horror games or any other games that lean towards a dark color palette as the TV's response time is significantly worse in dark scene transitions. The TV has good contrast although game don't look vibrant overall without a local dimming feature. The TV gets bright in HDR and has decent reflection handling so games look good in a moderately lit room. The Samsung Q8PC is alright for HDR movies. Its best traits for movies are its perfect general performance which removes general from all sources and excellent HDR gradient adding for a nearly bending free being experience. Unfortunately, the TV contrast isn't nearly good enough to make the TV look great in a dark room. So, the TV has terrible color accuracy in HDR. We'll have to spend some time on television if you want it will look good in HDR movies. Its HDR brightness is decent, but it can't make highlights pop, especially not with the unimpressive contrast. Finally, the TV has media for low quality content smooth, which doesn't make streaming services and their relatively low budget look their best. On the other hand, the Samsung Q70C is a fair TV for movie lovers. It has adequate contrast, but unfortunately, it doesn't have a local viewing feature to make the TV's blacks deep and dark. So they look a bit blue in dark scenes. It has adequate HDR brightness, good enough for a Decent being experienced, but highlights don't pop. The TV has acceptable low quality content smoothing, so low budget content watched from streaming platforms looks fine overall. But with noticeable macro blocking in dark scenes, 
The TV's color accuracy is also medieval pre-calibration. You don't need to calibrate it to look good, but it's helpful if you care about accuracy. If you care about accuracy, then Sony X90L will be a much better choice, I will say. The downside of Q80C, it has low contrast ratio, blooming around bright objects, no Dolby Vision support, no DTS audio pass through, unremarkable low quality content smoothing, disappointing local dimming. And the downside of Q70C is it doesn't have local dimming to improve its contrast and mediocre color accuracy to pre-calibration. For HDL gaming, QTC is a very good for playing the latest Triple A HDL titles. It supports 4K 120 hours so games are played at their highest resolution possible with gear art for a nearly tier free gaming experience. The TV's HDL brightness is better in game mode than in movie mode. So highlights are now bright enough to be impressive in certain scenes. Unfortunately, the TV is already middling contrast is a bit worse in game mode. So unfortunately, this TV won't make your games look their absolute best. Fortunately, it makes up for it with blazing input lag performance so your inputs are very responsive and it has a very good response time for minimal blurry when playing through hectic scenes as i said the q70c also a good choice for gamers wanting to play the latest hdr game as i said it has hdmi 2.1 battery ports all capable of to 4 and 20 hours and support avbr technology for a nearly tier free gaming experience from any vr enabled source this TV's response time is significantly worse in dark scene transition, so it's not optimal for dark games like titles in the horror genre. The TV's HDR brightness is adequate for a dark room as games look bright enough for a pleasant HDR gaming experience. Although highlights don't pop enough. If you want Samsung Q8TC as a PC monitor, it is a very capable TV when used as a PC monitor. It has impressive HDR brightness and decent reflection handling, so it looks bright even in a bright office. On the other hand, Samsung Q70C is very good to use as a PC monitor because it has a good response time. So there's a little bar when moving indoors around, but it's not annoying. In fact, it's actually not to set your operating system to dark mode, as the TV's response time performs significantly worse in dark scenes and leading to black smearing. Otherwise, the TV input lag is fantastic though where miles of controller inputs are super responsive. It displays chroma polish to polish to four signals properly, which is essential for clear text for our PC. It has a good SDR brightness and decent reflection handling, so the TV easily handles moderately in its offices. Unfortunately, the TV's screen angle is subpar, so the size of the screen fade and look washed out if you are sitting too close. The QTC looks simple but functional. It has a clean hexagonal stand, thin bezels and clean looking design. It looks nice enough to fit in any room without being distracting. On the other hand, Samsung Q70C has a clean and simple look. The stand is center mounted so the TV fits well on smaller tables. So in this two TV, which TV you like most, please write in the comments below. That's it from me.